Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm working here with um, the Yesu 897D. And so basically what I've done is I've set out to get a pan adapter on my 897D. I use the RSP1 as my uh, software defined radio, but you could use, you know, others. So the the uh, 897 has uh, two IFs internal to it. I'm going to go inside and and um, show you uh, where to tap the IF. Um, there's two locations to tap. Um, you can tap it at the first IF or you can tap at the second IF. And in my case, I'm tapping at the first IF, which uh, brings the RF signal in at around 68.33 megahertz and that's according to the spec in in the 897 uh, um, user's manual so when you when you remove the the top cover of the 897 there's essentially two connections that you have to be careful about one is the main power connection you have to take that loose when you when you remove the cover off so that's what I'm releasing right now. And you also have to take off the connection to the speaker, which is pretty easy to do. So once those have been removed, we now have the top of the 897. And so the question becomes, where do we tap? To do this, I use the G4 HUP SDR kit that I ordered online. Um, the price was about $20, it's pre-built. What this kit does is when you tap onto the IF, it prevents um, you from loading down the IF. So it's, 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 a, it's a high impedance buffer basically. So that you can tap the IF and then pull that through this high impedance buffer and then pull it out and then tap that to your SDR. So, so that's what's going on with this board here, which I'm going to zoom in on. There's initially a ground output or a ground lug that you connect to for your ground. What I did was I, I basically widened that um, hole so that I could screw an SMA connection into the um, back of the radio. It was it was really more or less the easiest place for me to come into the radio to get to tap the the IF, which I'll show in a little bit. So to tap the IF, I drilled a little bit bigger of a hole where the ground hole, the ground slug, lug is normally. And then coming on the out, outside, I attached uh, my coax cable going out to my um, SDR RSP1 in this case, or the, RS, the SDR plate one. So, so that, that comes in from the outside and then I tap onto the buffer board. This is the output side of the buffer board that I'm pointing to right now with the screwdriver. So the buffer board requires that it get gets powered from, from about seven volts, I believe is what it is. So I had to tap on, using this board, I had to tap a location on the 897, which gives power to the board. And then I also had to tap the first IF, which I'm pointing to now with the screwdriver. So here's the red, the red wire is the power. Okay, and then the, this is a coax that's going from the first IF to the input terminal of the, of the buffer kit board, okay. The G4HUP board, the, um, the, the, the SDR kit board that I'm using, it, it's double-sided taped down onto this metal plate so that it's attached inside the radio without, you know, without moving around. So that's, that's basically how it's been secured according to how it's suggested by the installation directions given with the kit. Okay, so this is the initial p 
PDF file that I found on the web to to um install my pan, pan adapter on my 897. So this procedure is fairly good, except what it does is it has you tap on to the to the um the IF after it's been narrow band filtered by about 20 to 30 kilohertz. So and that's what this with this um picture is showing here where you know this is this is really not where you want to tap but um anyway i i, I, I tapped there thinking that was going to be the if which would give about two megahertz of bandwidth before narrow band filtering to which would then go down to the next stage of um, the second stage of um if but anyway i followed this procedure it's not the procedure to follow is if you want to get um, a pan adapter with about two megahertz bandwidth okay so this procedure is put out by g4hup panoramic adapter installation procedure what they did do later is they came out and i don't know if it was later or when they came out with it but they came out with um an installation procedure called version 2 and again from g4hup it talks about how to go about installing their their um their pat kit so here's you know i'm just get scrolling quickly through their directions but here you can see their schematic that they give you and here's the board here's the schematic of the actual board i found this procedure after i had found the other one i thought the other one was the latest these are both both um set for year year 2014. in any case what you'd wind up doing is you wind up um when you when you install this board you wind up putting the the uh first if at least in my case i took the first if attached it to this input port here these two pads here are actually ground pads and then on the output you take the out pad and, it, and then attach that to your coax going out to your sma connection for um for your your sdr radio or for your pan adapter radio and again this pad here is um these two pads here are ground pads and also there is a power connection that needs to happen and i think it's about seven volts or so that needs to be tapped here which you know, the, the, there's a seven, about a seven or eight voltage point to tap on the uh, 897 to power this board. This this procedure is general. It doesn't very it doesn't speak specifically to say installing on an 897. So it, it got a little bit more general in terms of this instant installation procedure compared to the first one they had put out. So. So they didn't really, it wasn't really helpful to me in terms of where I should, where I should connect. So this is the site that, that I came across, VE3IPS. And he talks about pan adapter for Yaesu F817, 897, 857 with an RTL 23, I'm sorry, RTL 2832U out IF um, with a seven, 68 megahertz IF, which is, which is what the um, 897D puts out. This first IF stage is at 68.33 megahertz. So, and I'm specifically interested in, I'm just skipping down, but this is really a great resource to, to go through. I'm skipping down to, because um, my interest is the 897. And basically this is the setup here where once you locate the um, XFT6AQ chip on the board, you tap right here where he has this yellow dot that is the first if stage of the of the um of the uh 897d so if you tap there you would get about two megahertz of bandwidth for your pan adapter okay one thing to note as i've said um soldering onto onto these points is very it's not very trivial at least not for me you may have the the right uh, soldering equipment. You're going to probably need a microscope, and um, you know a setup with, with very fine tip soldering irons. Otherwise, you could cause damage to your radio. So just just 
when you do this, take your time, be careful, and hopefully you don't mess up.